one of the things that uh, probably very few people in the audience know about bala is that uh, he is an all-rounder all he's the kapil dev of the mutual fund industry and uh, why do i say that uh, i have known bala i saw him first maybe 20 years back we were in the cnbc studio yeah and that time bala used to look at uh, cash fund and uh, from that time uh, i've been observing his career so he was uh, uh, a debt fund manager uh, then he became a debt cio uh, my order may be no, yeah, slightly yeah, wrong correct, correct. but uh, then uh, he started looking at uh, uh, sales he was the sales head for uh, this Nine because, uh, which is very rare for any fund then he has been a CIO equities and he has been a CIO overall also for Birla. Yeah. And today he's the CEO. So he's a CEO who really knows what he's talking about. Because let's put it, putting it simply, the mutual fund asset management of business has two legs. One is the investment, the other is business. And he has experienced both of them. So wonderful to have you, Bala, with us. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Uh, thanks for thanks for the invitation, and yeah. uh, of course, um, I've been knowing you uh, not from last 20 years mm -hmm. since you were uh, Kotare Pioneer. Days. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> great. So uh, thank you, Bala. Uh, now uh, uh, before uh, he's completed 25 years with Aditya Birla, and uh, he has overall about 30 years of experience. You were with Kanpana earlier. Yeah, Canfina, then GAC Mutual Fund. Okay, fantastic. And then the last so, 94. So, Bala, yeah. if we were to go back 30 years, what is it that you wish you had known 30 years back uh, that you know now? Of course, um, what was known that point as it, as it happens to everybody, uh, never imagine MF industry size will become that large. Yeah. And um, so we used to struggle to get money in GIC mutual fund. I still remember in Burla when we joined here in 94, to get the Burla and Complus sold uh, to the investor, including equity. Equity, of course, was not easy uh, easy to sell. At the same time, uh, there were people who were coming into the equity funds. But even if it didn't come side, uh, nobody understood how income fund can actually serve the investor's needs. Uh, but never imagined industry size will become that large. Yeah. So, 20 lakh crore. Yeah. And why I am specifically saying this, yeah. we had a tie with Capital International in 94. Yeah. Yes. So, Capital International is one of the largest fund in the world actually. Yeah. I, I, I had an opportunity to meet them quite regularly when they visit India. And they were the market movers at the end of the day. That those days, they were the market movers. Even now, they are the large investor in seven, eight companies in the top holding they will come. So, once I had invited him for a discussion, so, uh, he asked me the questions, well, when we left Apple International India and then Sun Life came in 1999, he was asking, what was your AEM? I said, it was about 20,000 crores. Uh, would you ever imagined, now you are at nine, 1 lakh crore that time. Yeah. So, he said, would you ever imagined 20,000 crores become 1 lakh crore? I said, never imagined. And then, this, he says, exactly the same thing happened in US. He said that in Capital International, it was 3 billion dollar size. Today is about $2 trillion size. Mm -hmm. He says, that's the power of MRT Majesty. When you're working in the same sector, and working in the same mutual fund, I would ever imagine that I would, would become such a large industry. Yeah. And also, of course, grow in life. I yeah. think when you start your career as well, yeah. 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 you always think that this is a career you are starting, you will probably retire in the same position. Yeah. Yeah. So in my case, I joined as a yeah. trader. Yeah. When I joined as a trader, you never think that you'll go beyond a trader, yeah. then you go grow up in life, you don't visualize it, you keep, you keep doing things, keep doing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are two things, one is from yeah. the career, yeah. and second is on the, uh, the, business. the business itself. Yeah, yeah. And there I want to add my own spin to it. Anyone would, I had known as an IFA in uh, 1994, when my journey with Kothari Pioneer started, and if that person has today continued in the business, he is an extremely prosperous and a rich person. Believe me, I don't know of any IFA who was there in 94 and who continues to be there today who has not done extremely well for himself. Right, Abhinesh? Do you know someone who is a failure? 
किसी को जानता कोई यहां पे जिसने 94 में ज्वाइन किया हो एंड हु इज नॉट सुपर सक्सेसफुल सो ग्रेट फॉर पीपल्स करियर ना देयर इज समबडी हु इज सिटिंग हियर आई जस्ट मेट दुरु मेहता इज सिटिंग हियर यू हैव अ सेशन इन योर लैब दिस या एब्सोल्युटली सो सो आई हैव बीन आई हैव बीन डीलिंग विद हिम एज इज माय कस्टमर एज पार्ट ऑफ द एलियर अवतार एज अ सीएफओ ऑफ अ company yes of course and yes. then uh, he he's one of the uh, successful uh, person of course i'm just saying sir uh, rajiv bajaj is here and his father is here <laughs> yeah that's right can you see him yeah i'm just seeing actually yeah. kiki bajaj <laughs> so wonderful uh, okay now uh, so uh, you've looked at both debt and equity and uh, how do you think uh, today both the markets are in a bit of a turmoil how do you look at this particular situation yeah i think if again i go back uh, uh, the draw a parallel i think in the last 25 years uh, i think what we are seeing today especially the market volatility both on equity and fixed income and credit crisis both all the three mm. have have been seen in the past as well yeah. except each one comes in a different avatar yeah. on different context and a different and, scale and different scale and size mm. the only the difference is today the say size and scales are much different from what we saw in the past but nature of the uh, movements are more or less the same there is no much difference and uh, and this of course never uh, no good period i always believe uh, values believe no good period here lost for too long and no bad period also lost for too long i think everything has got a, a short uh, life So maybe it's not we are not Japan where uh, they have gone through a uh, 20 years of bear market and then suddenly has picked up. But India is a little unique in that space. Keeping that in mind, if I see the current market volatility, is of course created. Plus also I have dealt with uh, some of the Gujarati stock brokers, very senior, learned people. So one gentleman I used to speak, I used to ask him, "Sir, आपको market क्या view क्या लगता है?" And he always used to say, I used to ask to ask him, uh, "When do you think market will fall?" He always used to give one single statement. Well, the market can be that you get not be bullish any day, or bad, bad day can be bullish any day. You will never know actually the reasons under which the market will fall. Yeah. You will never know the reason under which the market will go up. Yeah. So that used to be one of his simple principle. Even now, he is one of the most successful stock broker by himself. That's the principle he used to apply. So if I go by that, the bad period also will not last for too long. So having said that, I think what we are seeing today is actually is the. Uh, yeah, global correction. I think coronavirus is the reason is actually is being used actually for the market which is not corrected for the last ten years in the US. Now we are finding some reason actually for uh, to fall. From India point of view, uh, especially last uh, one or another years, maybe we let go uh, some of the stuff. Okay, my belief is last one or another years of uh, crisis in India could have been managed much better, um, and 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 that's something we could have managed it. and uh, maybe the government is not looking at short fixing quick fixing i call it as quick fixing the government is looking at long term solution for everything that we are doing that takes some time if the moment you get move away from short term fixing to the long term fixing it comes with some kind of uh, pain i think i would assume from indian economy point of view we are at such a stage even as a country we are moving away from quick fixing to a long term for finding solutions for everything that we we are going through so therefore that will take some its, its own time but at least i would say the fundamentals are getting now set uh, for it to become better it will not probably will take off but at least for it to get better uh, from future point of view that's why i am saying both on the broad economy mm. as well as from the trend point of view mm. and as i again come back to the what i said earlier the the good period um, uh, bad period doesn't last for too long i think we will probably see that comes back the moment we see some of the steps that are being taken by both the government as well as uh, as well as uh, the industry players would start paying off and what has also remained the whole period is um, what has remained constant is just the change so therefore as long as we are able to adapt and understand some of the changes and then make course correction course correction in of course in distributors language is acceleration you keep doing a course correction as long as i think we do that for every aspects of our business model i think it can work much better okay okay now uh, we have a paradox today we have seen anyone who's been aligned to the mutual fund industry from the uh, outside from the inside has prospered in this particular business but yet the industry has set itself a target of 100 lakh crores Correct. in 5 years Correct. and for that to be done we need 5 lakh you know mfds mfds right 
Uh, but today there is no one joining the uh, uh, field. And at Aditya Birla, I know you have taken a lot of initiative on your own uh, to look for people, train them and uh, get them to uh, join the industry as uh, MFDs. Correct. What is it that the industry needs to do uh, to reach that 5 lakh uh, mark? Because otherwise it will be a struggle to reach uh, 100 lakh crores. Yeah. Now, one of, uh, even as the MP chairman was there, we, we, we said that we need to have in a white paper on MF industry. Mm -hmm. So, we are briefing uh, uh, BCG who was helping us in putting out that road, yeah. road map for 1 lakh, uh, 100 lakh crore equity. So 100 lakh crore is mutual industry size from 25. And then we said 5 lakh crore, 5 lakh number IFA should also be there. Mm -hmm. I think my view is not a, in the, is not a difficult uh, task. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, the savings is going to remain permanent. Yeah. There is no change in that. Mm -hmm. Second is from every customer point of view, beyond certain size, because I am a firm believer, the more the money, the more the advice you need. Mm. The lesser the money, you don't need advice at all. Yep. So, what is the target segment I am looking at? I think if, if the wealth effect in general is keep rising, mm. so I have seen, when I do a, my own business analysis, the people who are below the age of uh, 30, probably they may not need your uh, advice. They may not need my advice, they may not need your advice as well. But the people who are above the age of 30 or 35 plus, so there I think they start looking at the future. The people start getting worried about the futures once you cross the age of 35. So they are the people who need the advice. Therefore, if everyone starts looking at it from that angle and then have a clear target segment in which mm -hmm. you want cater to, mm -hmm. then naturally uh, the interest get, get generated. Mm -hmm. Second is the everything should not be driven on the, the basis of only the income that you get. I think the whole industry is, I always call it as a serving the nation. So, uh, MF industries in some sense can be called as a serving the nation. So, Leave said just return, returns is a function of various things. Yeah. The moment I start looking at using the investors to help him to do many things other than uh, the mutual fund as the Shanbhuga mentioned in the earlier session, mm -hmm. that's a beautiful uh, model. Mm -hmm. There is a role which I am going to play in the life of my customer, mm -hmm. so which is comes right from helping savings and also do many other things. I know a gentleman uh, who also does, uh, does other than uh, the mutual funds, he also helps them take care of some of the functions that they, as a family, they, uh, they, 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 they have. Mm. So that then he becomes a part of the family. So if you look at from that model, mm. naturally there is a huge scope for everyone to play a role. I think the advisors will play a bigger role. Mm. At the same time, if you, if you compare that with the insurance companies versus the mutual fund, of course the insurance, people may say they get a lot of upfront commission, and therefore, the survival is, is bigger. Mm -hmm. I think it's all about becoming a volume game. Mm -hmm. I think it's no more a yeah, few customers and few assets that we manage. I think we need to also bring the volume game. The moment I think you make a mix of the target segment, the volume game, I think it can work well. Mm -hmm. I just did one experiment. Mm -hmm. I think K.S. Rao is sitting here who is head of our university education mm -hmm. and distribution engagement uh, mm -hmm. chief. Mm -hmm. We said, let us do an exercise uh, as Bala Salah Mutual Fund. We gave an, ad we gave an advertisement. I didn't give the advertisement purposely in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. I gave it in the, in the interior parts of Maharashtra mm -hmm. and then gave it in the interior parts of Punjab. These mm -hmm. two we did a pilot model. Mm -hmm. You will not believe me, in, from Maharashtra, the number of people who expressed mm -hmm. interest to join mutual fund industry as a mutual, mutual fund distributors mm -hmm. was almost about 1,500 applications I got. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, it all came in the postcard and um, the inland letter and so on and so forth. But was then, it in a very, did you take it out in a B30 kind of a location? Yeah, then we went to Punjab, deeper parts of Punjab, we gave an advertisement newspaper in the local language. Okay. I got about 850 applications. Okay. okay. The moment we did, uh, uh, did uh, uh, the, the, the whole uh, thing, the, uh, the, whether they would seriously become distributors, we found out almost 30% of the people became a serious, uh, seriously interested in distributing mutual funds. And then finally, we trained about 120 people. Oh, fantastic. And uh, then they got NISM certified. Okay. So, that I think, only thing is we did the pilot. Yeah. We didn't carry forward on a continuous basis. Yeah. I think, I think is what is most important is just doing it and doing it continuously, mm. 360 days a year. And then I think probably the FILAC number, I think, will come mm. uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an industry size. Mm. It's not that difficult task. Mm. The only the question is collectively, how much I think we keep doing it. Mm. I think one of the things that we, of course, doing it is it's, it's, while things are going ups and downs, mm. uh, what we can do the best mm. is actually engage the market. Mm -hmm. So, it's the KS Rav and the team, what he does the best is keep engaging, mm. forget about market volatility, forget about our own uh, ups and downs that we see. Mm. But I think the more they engage, the higher the result will come. Mm. 
Okay, now uh, we've come to the almost the end of the session. I cannot let you go away without answering one question. I hope you plan to be around for another 30 years. I plan to be here. Okay, for those of us who are looking for the 30 years plus kind of a, a, you know innings left in us, what would be your advice? You've seen 30 years. Yeah. We have another 30 years to go. What would you say? I think leave aside 30 years. Mm -hmm. I think what is most important actually, how passionate I am about the industry for which I am working for. Mm -hmm. I think the more I feel passionate about the industry, mm -hmm. the more I feel the contribution that I am making to the industry or to my investors and I am able to see the impact of that mm -hmm. in the life of my customers, in the life of the industry. Mm -hmm. And that's something which I think will make things work. Because 30 years, nobody can see it. Mm -hmm. And if everybody says that, no, I can see the futures, mm -hmm. I think it's extremely difficult to believe that. I think live on percent and give a drive happiness from the success that you are bringing in, and that success, that happiness will bring in more success. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Bala. Yeah, thanks, Vim. Thanks. Thank you.